The legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Gitchukumi. The lake it is said never gives up for dead in the skies of November turn gloomy. With the load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. A big ship and true was a bound of it should when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned, concluding in some terms. With a couple of steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. And later that night, when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind in the wires made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over. Every man knew as the captain did too T'was the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing But afternoon came it was freezing rain In the face of a hurricane west wind Supper time came, the old cook came on deck saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in, he said, fellas, it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the big ship and crew was in peril. And later that night when his lights went out of sight, in the record of the Edmund of Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? Searchers all say they the made white fish play if they'd put fifteen more miles behind her. They might have split up, but they might have kept size. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and days are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario It takes in what Lake Erie can send her But the iron boats go as the mariners all go With the gales of November remembered 